The last two years has been pretty transformative in the way that we move. Due to COVID, people haven't wanted to jam pack into trains and trams. And with the bushfires very fresh in our memories, people are looking for lower carbon alternatives. And this is really important. Transportation is one of the biggest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. And the private motor car is one of the biggest contributors within that space. So I'm really interested in alternatives. Now, if you look at this slide, you might kind of wonder what's going on here. This is a Villamobile and is one of the most efficient forms of transport ever created. Now, versions of this are human powered, that is pedaling. And these things are so efficient that the record for this is over 140 kilometers an hour. And that's one person pedaling. The most efficient vehicle ever created uses this kind of form factor. And for the equivalent energy of one liter of petrol, this vehicle could travel 6,000 kilometers. Now you might look at it and go, this is crazy, this will never happen. But the fact is micromobility, that is forms of transport under 500 kilograms, often electric powered, are already here. In parts of Europe, e-bikes are taking over traditional bikes and outselling them. It's predicted that by the end of the decade, electric bikes will outsell motor cars. So this is already happening. Another example is that if you walk out on the street right now, there's a good chance that you'll see an electric scooter. Now, this was a form of transport that you just wouldn't see on the street five or 10 years ago. So new form factors are starting to happen. Another example would be that if I pulled out my phone right now and ordered some food, I think they would arrive in something like this, an e-bike. But interestingly, I don't think that they would be pedaling. So people are using this form factor, people that are navigating the city streets every day as their choice of vehicle, but if they're not pedaling, why are they on something like this? So my research is exploring, inventing and designing new forms of micromobility and communicating its potential impact. For example, I've designed a solar kick scooter, which can be charged without ever plugging in and can be folded up for convenient transport as well as collecting the sun. So this research is really important. If we want cities with clean air, if we want sustainable, safe and affordable form of transport for all, I think we all need to be a vehicle for change.